Good day, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on Basic Network Concepts Part 3. Today we're going to be talking about numbering systems, and we will conclude with a very brief discussion on conversion tables. With that, let's go ahead and begin today's session. Of course, I'm going to begin by talking about numbering systems. While computer code and communication can get very complex, it can also be broken down to a basic bit level. A bit has one of two values. It either has a value of 0 or it has a value of 1. These values can be thought of as being either off, which is a 0, or on, a 1. These bit values are actually the only information that computing devices know. By combining and adding different bits together, computers can communicate with each other and programs can be created. Because of this, technicians need to know how to work with binary, or the base 2 numbering system. Binary is a base 2 numbering system where each position has one of two basic values. It is either a 0 or a 1. It is written from right to left with the potential value of digits being doubled with each additional digit that's added. If a zero is the placeholder, it has a null value or no absolute value. And if a one is present, the actual value is double the potential value of the digit to the right. To derive the final value of a binary number, add all of the potential values together and that will give you the decimal value of the binary number. The binary numbering system is very important when dealing with computers and networking. You should become comfortable with converting from decimal or base 10 values to binary and from binary back to the decimal format. If you need help with that there are multiple websites that can help. One website that I recommend is mathisfun.com. You can look on their website for their binary numbering lessons. Now let's talk about bit, byte, and nibble. A bit is a single zero or one. A byte is eight bits, and it can also be referred to as an octet. A nibble is half of a byte, or four bits. And these terms are used quite frequently when dealing with binary. Now let's talk about hexadecimal. Hexadecimal is a base 16 numbering system that uses the numbers 0 through 9 and then it uses the letters A through F to represent the values 10 through 15. It functions in the same manner as binary but with base 16. Each hexadecimal digit has a potential binary value of 1111 or 15 and it can be referred to as a nibble as its half of a byte. A hexadecimal number can often be recognized by the notation prefix of 0 lowercase x, which directly precedes the hexadecimal number. Hexadecimal is widely used in programming and networking along with binary. Some examples of binary and hexadecimal use include IPv4 addresses, which can be represented by a 32-bit binary number that is divided into four 8-bit sets. Each 8-bit set is equal to one byte and is often called an octet. An IPv6 address, which is a 128-bit binary number, is usually represented by hexadecimal, and it is divided into eight two-byte sets, each set being separated by colons. And I recommend that you watch my presentations on IPv4 and IPv6 to get a better understanding of how binary and hexadecimal are used in networking. And now let's move on to conversion tables. When working with binary and hexadecimal numbers, I recommend creating a conversion table before doing the math. I find it to be very useful when I need to convert from decimal to binary or from hexadecimal to binary to decimal. Now that concludes this session on Basic Network Concepts Part 3. 
I began by talking about numbering systems, and I concluded with a very brief discussion on conversion tables. On behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session, and I hope to do another one soon.